In the months following his passing, sales of Matthew Perry's memoirs have doubled. In order to provide readers with an open window into his life, Matthew Perry wrote his memoir, disclosing personal information about everything from his acting career to his high-profile relationships to his battles with drugs and alcohol. And his book is reaching more readers than ever now, months after his premature death at the age of 54. I wanted to talk about his decades-long substance abuse and how he nearly passed away at the age of 49 from his escalating drug addiction once I was safe from plunging back into the dark side of things. He claimed that after his colon burst due to opioid overuse, he spent two weeks in a coma fighting for his life, spent five months in the hospital, and used a colostomy bag for a year. The adored friend star had intended to start a foundation to help people with the same illness before his tragic death on October 28th. To honor Perry's memory, his loved ones turned that dream into a reality, identifying addiction as a disease, addressing the complex of stigmas that prevents individuals from seeking and accessing care and fiercely advocating for better and more equitable treatment was the stated mission of the Matthew Perry Foundation when it was established on November 3rd. Perry disclosed his alcohol and Vicodin abuse in a 2013 cover story. A doctor had initially prescribed Vicodin to Perry following a jet ski accident in 1997. At the time, he admitted, I had a big problem with alcohol and pills and I couldn't stop. Eventually, things got to the point where I was unable to conceal it, and everyone found out.